Hello, everyone. My name is Anthony Campolo. I'm a developer advocate at QuickNode, and um, I am connected. I'm not sure what I need to do to, oh, there we go. Look at them pros over there. All right, so we are going to show how to deploy a very, very simple smart contract. So if you all are like, I don't code at all. I'm, I'm going to have no idea what's going on here. Trust me, you might figure out more than you think, because there's going to be just a couple little things going on here. We're going to have a contract that's going to write a message to the blockchain. We're going to read that message back. That's all we're going to do. It's called a Hello World application. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to grab an RPC endpoint from QuickNode. We just recently started a free tier as well. So if anyone wants to spin this up, you could do it right now. You don't even need a credit card. Now, we're using Hardhat, so it's a very common development environment if you've ever done this kind of stuff before. And you just have to specify what network we're using here. And so if you know Avalanche has the test network, test network being Fuji. So we're going to deploy a smart contract to Fuji. And all we need is our QuickNode URL, which we get from over here, and then a private key from your wallet, whichever kind of wallet you use. And the only other thing you need is to put this part at the end, because we are using the C chain specifically. Because one of the cool things about Avalanche is it's compatible with Ethereum, EVM. So if you write something and you want to deploy a smart contract to Ethereum, you could deploy basically that exact same smart contract to Avalanche. Here is our beautiful contract. It is a Hello World contract that just has a single variable, hello message. And when we initialize the the contract, we will pass in a message that will set it to our hello message. And then we have a single function that just returns that message. So that's all that's going on here. And then when we actually deploy it, we see that we're going to pass in this message, which is going to be hello from Avalanche House. So once you got your endpoint and your private key in there, everything else is good to go. And you gotta run yarn hard hat compile. That's going to compile your smart contracts ABI. Don't worry about what that means. And then we're going to actually deploy it. Hard hat run scripts deploy. And then you can specify the network here. So we're specifying the Fuji network. Not sure how well you can see that, but the main important thing is it gives you this smart contract address right here. And then we're going to put that in our little React application over here. All this is doing is it's writing some JavaScript to basically hit that contract and then run that hello world function that we originally created that is going to read back that message. And then it will display it on screen for us when we click this button. So now we kick this open on localhost 3000. We see here. And then hello from Avalanche House. And then if we check our console log, we can also see we're getting back some more information as well. And then this is our wallet, which is now connected. And then since this is just a React front end, it is very simple if you want to deploy it to just run a command like Vercel. And then it will take this whole project and then shove it up online for you. And then that's your dApp. So, once that is finished, we will have a live DAP. Any questions? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then here is our actual link here. Boom, boom. So this is on a live endpoint right now. So it's going to ask us to actually connect. So we're going to connect, connect, and there we go. Hello from Avalanche House. So there you go. If you go to avalanche-house.vercel.app, you can connect your wallet and read this beautiful message yourself. All right, cool. Hopefully that made sense. And if you want to check us out at quicknode.com, we have a bunch of chains, but obviously you guys are all here for Avalanche, so you can check out our Avalanche offering. This is one of our newer chains, actually. This is just added in a couple months ago, 
And I've been working on creating guides and doing live streams and just building out a lot of content around it, which is where projects like this came from. So if you're someone who wants to learn more about how this stuff works, we have a lot of great guides for you. And then we try and make it as easy as possible to just spin up and work with Avalanche. All right. Thank you. Hello. Great job. Thank you very much. Uh, is everyone sure we don't have any questions? Just making sure. You do. OK, good. I thought somebody would have a question. OK. I'll give you a mic. Yeah, perfect. I want to yell. Hi, I'm Dennis. Uh, my, my question is, we deploy subnets, right? So are you guys hosting validators that run on subnets too, or are these for like the C chain? No, this, is for the, this is for the C chain specifically. So we will actually, so we give you a, a full endpoint and then you can kind of decide what you want to do with it. So we give you the endpoint and then you add in the actual like uh, C chain part here as well. So if you want to hit any of the, the subnets, you can do that. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and you can check out our docs here if you want to see the avalanche specific kind of methods. So you got them all here. So you see you have like the, the ABM ones and the ETH ones. And we got swag too, if you want swag. Lots, lots of swag too. Um, okay, well thank you very much. And just a reminder, this, this is live stream, so you guys will be able to review this too later. So uh, really and appreciate it. And there's a, a guide if you want to check out this guide here. This, it'll do that, but a lot slower and with more explanation. Well, let's hear it for this gentleman here. Thank you very much. <laughs>